What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a modern cube draft here. Thank you. On the internet, it is Tom. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Take my money. Thanks. Deal. Deal. I appreciate the support. I like Euro. I also like Luminous Brood Moth. I think it's probably Euro, though. What if Birds come back? That'd be cool. If Birds or Rampant Growth come back, or Rootbound or Terror, then we can just keep up our our beautiful teamer trend. I like Llanowar Elves here because Euro is a good rampy boy. I like Remand. I like Glenelendra. Hmm. Might just be Glenelendra. I'm gonna take Glenelendra. Oh, third pick Jace the Mind Sculptor? What did two people pick instead of this? Have they ever cast a Jace the Mind Sculptor? Oh my god. Hmm. Raging Ravine and Wandering Fumeral. Oh, what up, Odysseus? Could be Narset. Oh, what up, Shugrind? Is that the Super Fritz? Wow. I can't believe it. I'm not super excited about Narset. I kind of just want to go Teamer, because I think the Teamer cards are so strong. I just want to take Raging Ravine here. Oh, and we get a Stomping Ground. Also a Cyclonic Rift. I think we're going to focus on the lands here. Maybe. Shoot. Yeah, I'll take Stomping Ground. Cyclonic Rift is good, but... I want to be able to cast those spells we don't even have yet. You know the ones. Dragon Lord Atarka. See, that's a pretty cool card. I like a Dragon Lord Atarka. That dude is real strong. And by dude, I mean lady. Wow, three swords in the same pack, huh? Body and fire and war and peace, light and shadow. Yeah, that's, that's something all right. I think I'm probably just going to take a sword here. I think Sword of Body and Mind's probably fine. We're not going to take Atris. Um, I still, I don't think I've seen a Stoneforge Mystic in this cube. I assume there has to be one, but I'll take Sword of Body and Mind. Dang, Whirl Rogue? Or, uh, <laughs> Primus Chupacabra? That's pretty good. I like Vista. I also like Blink of an Eye. Let's take the Blink of an Eye. Well, nothing we wanted came back, unfortunately. <sighs> unfortunately, both our lands are red. I feel like I should have taken Cyclonic Rift and just stayed blue-green. But then we could splash, like, black for one of these guys. There's a lot of good black cards going around. Let's just take Garrick here. Is it charm? Sure. Take provoker. Oh, lava coil. Okay. Looter came back. All right. Not terrible. A reasonable ten cards. We're just looking for Clothis and Karanos, obviously. That's all we draft, guys. That's all we draft.
Oh, Giralf's Messenger, huh? Okay. Ulamog. Scalding Tarn seems good. Scalding Tarn can get our stomping ground. The Bird of Paradise did not come back. I also think Rattleclaw might come back. Yeah, I'm going to take Tarn here. The Bird of Paradise did not come back. I like... It. Oh, Primeval Titan? Oh, shoot. I was almost going to take this Triome. <laughs> I bet one of these, this, 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 or this, one of these five comes back. But right now we're just taking Primeval Titan for obvious reasons. Ooh, Noble Hierarch is nice. Yeah, this is an easy Noble Hierarch. Shinobi, huh? Okay, well this pack's kind of laughing at me a little bit. It's like Abrupt Decay, Fallen Shinobi, Tarmogoyf's not very good. Batter Skull's cool, but we don't... I guess it's just Worm Coil Engine here. I think Worm Coil's probably fine. Just a pretty solid 6 drop. I do like a Thrag Tusk. Everflowing Chalice is interesting. Scavenging is also interesting. Huh. I can't help but think we forced this archetype. I'm just gonna take Thrag Tusk here. Ooh, I do like Acidic Slime. And I think it's extremely main deckable. Oh, Huntmaster the Fells? I like Huntmaster. Alright. We're getting somewhere. I like Maelstrom Pulse. I also like Massacre Worm. <laughs> but, uh, not ideal here. Baral's not great for us. I guess Careful Consideration is fine. Phantasm on the chain back? Sure. Seems fine. Ah, the wrong Triome came back. Biscuits. Man, that would have been a great one to, to, to have come around. I'll take Obstin and Bailoth, I guess. Wow. Crystalbrand? Tarmogoyf? Abrupt Decay? Take a brush kit. Just in case. Oh, Everflowing Chalice? Sure. I mean, this is. We can play Thrag Tusk. Take the playable card for us. Sure. Another sword. Questing Beast is nice. Tatiova's pretty sweet. I don't think we're playing Garrick. Heath can get Stomping Ground so far. Not ideal. I think it's like Questing Beast. Questing Beast just wins games. Although Tatiova with, like, Primeval... If you go Tatiova into Primeval Titan, that's a hell of a... That's a hell of a combo. Uh, I have not listened to Pirate Rap, nor have I listened to Pirate Metal. I wouldn't say Mike talking about it on stream would qualify as being introduced to it. Hmm. I mean, the Reds... Uh. I think Tatiova might come back. I think Questing Beast is just a card that just wins sometimes. Oh, I do like Shark Typhoon. Fencer is nice, but we're getting a little high on four drops here. Could be Force of Negation. I don't love it, though. I'll take Shark Typhoon. Thank you. 
Guys, we didn't get Clothis or Karanos. I think the tech is drying up. PC Vogel, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I really want more three drops here. Is Thassa any good? It's good with Huntmaster, Acidic Slime, Thragtusk, Primeval Titan, Galenalendra. Um, it's not terrible. Uh, no, no one introduced me to Elstorm. Mike just mentioned it on stream. I'll take Thassa, sure. Oh, Mystic Snake. Also, Golos? Do you have any way to... I guess not. Hornet Queen's nice. I think it's just Electrolyze here. Like, I don't think we need any more high-end threats. Steam Vents seems really good. Let's take a Steam Vents. I think I'd rather have Corsair than Teferi here. I don't even like Teferi that much. Sort of Feast and Famine is interesting. So salty and PC Vogel. Thank you guys so much for the resubs. Really appreciate it. Could just take Lovestruck Beast too. Who wears a sword? Are any of these guys going to be blinked? Not really. Whatever, I'll take Beast. I got the beast in my side. Turn 4 Avalanche Rider followed by turn 5 Acidic Slime would be pretty good. Also, Avalanche Rider with Thassa doesn't seem too bad. Take Garrick, sure. Take Shadow Spear. Man. Yeah. Might as well take Spyglass. So this is 23. I can see us playing this. We got four fixing lands. No double red cards, which is nice. is probably more versatile here. Actually, I don't hate pull, pull from tomorrow here. I feel like black was open. This seems like a good configuration. What are you even doing, Christopher? I think this is a fine 23. All our lands produce red. Eating dates and playing Minecraft. Nerd. Are my messages not showing? No, they're there. Read them. Happy 17 months to celebrate. I post a song in the chat that I danced to with my one and a half year old son. It makes me think of every time I call it the Fabloof song. Oh boy. I don't even know what this is. Although I don't want to get demonetized, so. Alright, um. So I have this notice me senpai thing. That's okay. I'll I'll, I'll forgive you. 
Sort by color. Literally only five red cards. That's pretty good. So I think we're going two of these. Six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, twelve, fourteen, six, seven, eight, nine. This is eight, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, eight, six, eight. Okay, let's do that. I have no idea if this deck's any good. We do not have our hits. I mean, our six drops are good. <laughs> I don't know. Deck's pretty versatile. It's got some things going on. Will do, will do. I got the uh, I got the window open, both in browser and in the room. Keep it. Snap it off. Oh, Thassa into Thrag Tusk seems real good. Shelly. Ooh, that was a nice draw. Noble into Steamy. Alright. Well, next time we can Jace instead. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, they're just gonna play something? Lotus Cobra. Codus Lobra. Get him out of here. All right. Man, Lotus Cobras. Or <laughs> not Jace the Mind Sculptor is no joke. You got it. Water Grave. I'm going to add a green. What are you going to do with it? Nothing. Okay. Seems good. Seems effective. Ooh, interesting. One, two. So we can actually go Euro, put two lands into play. Is it Charm? Right? One, two. Interesting. Hmm. Is that better than just putting in Thrag Tusk? Probably. So put looter and forest on top. Play forest one two.
I still think Jace is one of the goats, right? Like, I mean, there's definitely a feeling when you cast a Jace the Mind Sculpt where you're like, well, I'm real far ahead right now. Let's hold up. T -t Today, Junior? Okay. Put it into play. Kill this thing. Blue and red. I would still put Jace in front of Teferi Time Raveler, like on a power level. I think I think Time Raveler is more obnoxious, but Eat to Yep, alright, sure. You got it. Ooh, having never returned for my for my euro is pretty nice for my euro do they do that now because then it gives us a thassa a thassa blinker rooney which is pretty good oh they did <laughs> yeah that's all this is fine oh wow Now I kind of just want to see the slime of land. Um, 27 to 26. Yeah, we're just getting rid of their watery grave. Maybe it was Thassa, actually, because then we get two Thassa blinks. Just a hard cast fallen shinobi. I mean, I'm pretty sure Thassa plus Acidic Slime is unbeatable, <laughs> given another turn here. And I'm pretty sure they're just jumping with Fallen Shinobi, which is why they put that dude into play. Which is fine. Or they're taking another five. city um hmm. I feel like the second black is going to be more likely to kill our acidic slime like with a murderous rider or something oh, they have it anyway so I think they're going to kill this and then actually get in there this might have been a mistake we might have wanted to just play coarser into lava coil Apparently not. I mean, there's no world where I don't block Fallen Shinobi. But, you know. You got it. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I'm just going to keep up Electrolyze here. I don't know how they beat this. I also don't mind drawing blink, I guess, depending on what they hit. Okay. Seems good. Okay. 
Okay. Um, what do we see? Never return. Fallen Shinobi. Lotus Cobra. That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, we only get to gain five and make a three three every turn for free. Uh sure. Luter of course basically Jace the Mind Sculptor, right? Same creature. Jace isn't a creature, stupid. Dang it, you're right. Oh man, if it isn't Jeff Tucker himself. What up, my dude? Oh wow, speaking of a goose. That's wild. Oh wow, speaking of wild. The nice thing about Gilded Goose is that thing can fly over and fall in Shinobi us. Nice for them, not nice for us per se. God, I feel like they're basically gonna die from their their city. Oh my god, what? <laughs> ah! Okay, uh, I think what happened there was they were trying to... They went tap this for mana, tap this for mana... They probably subconsciously meant to tap this for mana because they meant to make mana with the goose, but they accidentally activated it <laughs> and then they conceded out of shame. <laughs> so I guess we got that one. Yeah, they might have just had the they might have just ate the food and then got tired, you know. keep this having some solid stuff to do early is fine oh uh, streaming's been fine no complaints standard's been hot trash but you know other than that just fine Ooh, that guy's good. No, don't like that. All right, well, that guy's good too, though. And I'm sure they're gonna have something to target this. But I guess we do get questing beast after that.
Yep, seems fine. Not great, but fine. I almost like electrolyze against these two here, but it's probably just more important to get this guy down. We could always blink this guy when it's too much and then electrolyze something else. God, wow. Sure. Six, six, go to ten. Another island is exactly what we're looking for here. Elspeth? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we take nine. Sure. Hmm. And we're definitely bouncing the cast out. Blocking. Maybe we just block the brim as. Gonna block here. If they don't draw land, we can is it charm it when it comes back down. Let's just attack your face. We either eat Elspeth or a Bramaz here, so that's pretty cool. And Elspeth it is. Oh yeah, Mike might, might had a bad time with that gummy bear. For sure. Man, this has been a decent recovery. <laughs> mm 
<laughs> uh, something's happening here. We know they have cast out. Which I will gladly use a charm. Either Sphere or Harvester. Sure, I don't, I don't care about that, to be honest with you. I mean, I know they have a 3-5 here, but I'd rather just cycle this and get more things to do. Oh, it also, that's interesting. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven. We could attack with both. They block here. Huh. God, I don't even know how Affinity does it, man. That's wild. I don't like the idea of them activating, blocking, etc. So I feel like we only just attack with the questing beast. Oh, I should have played friggin' Noble Hierarch first. Dang it. Not my finest moment there. <sighs> yep, yeah, that was pretty bad. You got it. Do I just get to eat both of these? If I can see both of these, it's pretty good. Oh, you're just going to activate and then not block. Fascinating. Um, all right, so we just want to go one post combat absolutely terrible two thank you jeff thank you so much for the resub buddy welcome back my dude we want to get rid of that so now they have to play something else if they want to uh if they want to crew this. Cat's spa. Oh, because of the because of the cat, I get it. I get it. That's cat humor. I'm impressed that Affinity is always here. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was like, is Affinity here? And then like he wasn't there. Oh, yep. I mean, that's fine right now. This guy again, huh? Okay. I mean, we couldn't, we couldn't as a charmer now, so. My Yargle Bartles. <laughs> you always got to get those Yargle Bartles. Okay, I, I would really like a card that's not a land here. Huh. But, I'll be honest with you, I'm real tempted to sacrifice this to get a, to get a Dragon Lord of Tarka.
Or even a primeval titan, right? Or an acidic slime gets rid of cast out. Probably could have done that pre-combat, I guess. They go to three here? There's no way, right? They have to they have to block with Harvester here. They go to three. Against a red deck. Alright, you gotta get out of the way. Get out of the way. Um We have a green. We can actually go green, red. We can actually play Euro here, right? I mean that seems almost unbeatable. I guess Dragonlord Atarka does too. We also draw two cards, gain six. Get to put all the lands in play? Jeez. I mean, the funny thing is Euro's great. Primetime is great. Dragonlord Atarka is great. We still get to give up Is It Charm, actually, if we do play Dragonlord Atarka. Can Garrick find a bolt? Nothing deals three to the face, right? No. God. It's either Euro or Dragonlord Tarka. Do we care about our graveyard? Not at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, now they have to deal with Dragonlord and, and Shark. Yeah, that was pretty good. Wow, I'm really surprised we won this game. Three, four, huh? I kind of want Gem Razor. They did have a good amount of... Um, Enchantments. Well, we're doing pretty good. We're living the teamer dream. Chick Mach 4 Gem Razor. Wow. I'll keep this. We can't get a breeding pool, unfortunately. Probably just get an. I guess we'll get a steam vents. Could have brought Sweltering Sun in, but like having to have double red when we only have six red sources. I mean, it seems silly now that we have three of them, but typically we don't have that many red sources. Noble Hierarch can't make red. Man, these guys would... These guys would love to see some red here. I guess we'll just get Steam... Or, uh, yeah, Steam Vent seems fine. That guy's good. Can we survive? 3, 4, 5, we go to 12, we play a land. I 
mean, if we're taking this guy out and they're not like getting rid of this, I think this is fine. Also, if we draw three drop, that would be great into uh, land land. I feel like Odek probably has a hard time dealing with a worm coil outside of their. Yeah, just block here. Okay, not a three drop. Are we going to take a million next turn? You're level four. Yeah, we're going to take eight. That's pretty rough. We're not going to take eight. Okay. We're going to take four. That's significantly better. Interesting. Alternatively, we could play the Lovestruck Beast, which does threaten to block this guy, but I feel like if they don't have anything to do, they're just going to pump it. I'm pretty sure if we if we can hit two more lands, we just can't lose, but... And we have five life here, a Worm Coil, and a Dragon Lord Target. Both Huntmaster and Lovestruck Beast are great against like things like Cast Out and stuff, so... Man, I wish the notifications would alert you guys. I feel like it's against my best interest for them to not alert you. Oh, wow. They're just going to... Oh, and Huntmaster flips? Yeah, you know, instead of taking 10, I'll probably just block. Sure. Um, We could play Thrag Test. We could also play Lovestruck Beast and make another guy here I think that's probably correct because then we're going to flip the the ravager cast heart's desire cast the beast and now we have two blockers and gain two more so that's pretty good yeah I like that yeah this is the the showcase frame. I love this art. I think all the showcase frames look super sweet. But you know, it's just me. So this is a 5-5. Five five. It's just really hard to deal with. I guess Worm Coil deals with him fine. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, man. Probably gonna block with the wolf because the one one at least lets us attack. I think they got journey in hand. If they had journey, they probably would have just gotten rid of this guy. Oh, oh boy. Well, we are missing a land for that, but. I mean, any land we get to play, either Jace or Dragon Lord Tarka, depending on what the land is. And being able to bounce Student of Warfare, which you've invested seven mana into, seems pretty decent. Hmm. Blessed Alliance. Sure. Um, let's get rid of Huntmaster here. I doubt they're going to have two removal spells uh, for next turn, so we're just going to be able to play Worm Coil. If they get rid of Worm Coil, we can still jump here and then play Thrag Tusk or Dragon Lord Tarka if we draw land. Yeah, I think the modal lands look sweet too. I'm getting one of each for the cube for sure. Big worms in the city. Are we hoping for an island? Probably. I mean, any draw in our deck is pretty much live here, right? Like, it's either a land that lets us cast Dragon Lord, or it's a spell that we can cast because Dragon Lord is the most expensive card in our deck. So, yep, sure. And then we chump block, and then we play Thrag Tusk. I mean, we just have so many turns right now to 
to really deal with this. Acidic slime would also be fine. You know, we have lots of live draws. Chem Razor. It's actually kind of interesting. Huh. Uh, under. Get rid of the cast out. Can't attack, but I'm fine with blocking. Taking two here. They're coming back in. Oh, they took two. Five mana card. What's it going to be? That's fine. One hundred percent will block. No. One, two, three, four. Really? Sure. Let's do that. That's a that's a fine deal with me. <sighs> Don't hate Shark Typhoon here. They can either block with two Kithkin or Just one Kithkin. No Kithkins. Just taking three. Okay. Seems good. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just keeping Shark Typhoon, Shark Typhoon for five up. Yeah, that guy's obnoxious. <sighs> really? Okay. Oh, it's for four, rather. Dang it. Dang it. It's still fine. Land? Not a land, but still pretty decent. Uh, you are 5-5. Five, five. Block here. Block here. And block here. Lightning Helix, the Beast, sure. That's fine. You have one card in hand? Yeah. Fine by me! Uh, land would be great here. Oh, look, it's land. Let's just play this guy. Um, I guess four here. And one here, sure. They got one card. Yeah, that's fine. You did. Oh, he did. Let's just get in there. They have no cards in hand. Oh, they just conceded. They didn't even give me the pleasure. All right, well, 4-0.
Damn, pad thai sounds delicious. Wish I had some pad thai. No fish sauce, no oyster sauce. I definitely had uh, Big Girls Don't Cry stuck in my head when I was reading that. Make up on its cry. Make them cry. That's a good one. Solid. The restaurants in North America have added so much fl more flavor than the pad thai here. Man, that's a bummer, dude. If you're talking about wanting food enough, you might summon Kerwit, even Kerwit. Despite all his powers. Cannot summon a pad thai at this hour. Oh, that rhymed. Alright, let's do it. I think our deck is good. I think, like, two more fixing lands and, like... I guess we have a bunch of two drops. We just didn't draw a bunch last game. Or this game. Still keep this hand. Two of every color seems nice. Easier choice. A euro would be nice. Actually, two drop would be better. Okay, well. I see how you're going to be. Get a little old mind stone over here. I love eating the water bugs. Well, you're kind of a weirdo. <laughs> weirdo! Um, I'm just going to course her here. They only have one blue up. What could go wrong? A little Glenelendra. Alright, so I didn't hit a land. That's good. So next time we get to go Glen. Nick those. Extremely fascinated. Sure. You got it. There's a lot of lands in my hand, so I'm really not super concerned about discarding one. To sleep or watch me play magic? These are the questions, man. Oh, wow, they're just drawing a card? Wild. That's a big, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. I'm just going to crack this because we already have two, uh, blue, 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 red, red, red. Oh, doo -doo in my head. With a biscuit bag. Who we do, we do. Play a Thrag Tusk every day. Well, they've missed some land drops. Sure. Yeah, whip of Erebus. You got it. Now, if we draw, like, Blink or, J or Jace and get to return our Courser, it's pretty sweet, so. Oh, what up, Shua Garner? Yeah, seems good. We couldn't counter that anyway, so I'm not super concerned with it. I'm also not super concerned with... Hypnotic Spectre here when I have three lands in hand. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Treasure map instead. Anything we care about? Phyrexian Arena, Gonti, Coalition Relic, Avenger of Zendikar. What the fudge? Uh, main. We don't have a land to play. That seems fine. Still get to keep up with the Lindra. Oh. <coughs> 
rift. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm not going to counter that because I just want to get another swing in with Golem under Archmage. You got it. Which makes me wonder if I'll be able to now. Rift on the bottom. You get a Bloodstained Mire. Sounds good. So they don't have either of these. Search for tomorrow and they're cracking Bloodstained Mire. Let's see if the search stays because that's how the bug works. Mimic Vent. And they took two. Wow. This is wild. Yeah, wow, that's really good. Congratulations. The only thing we don't want to draw is Dragon Lord Tarka. Love Struck Beast is pretty decent. Probably just countering this Mimic Vat. I don't feel like that's going to be... Uh... Oh, good. Misty Rainforest for free. Boy, this Corsair of Crufix is... It's working out real well for him. There's a Search for Tomorrow again. I would also crack that. And now you have a Swamp. So you have four cards in hand? We know Vat is one of them, right? They drew the Vat. Misha's Workshop, $5,200. That's insane. I wonder what you get here. This is pretty good. Avenger of Zendikar, sure. Five mana. Nope, oh, what are they? Wow. Now they get to play in their swamp. That's very good. Yep. Wow, this is amazing. Boy, I feel like that Corsair of Crufix would be real good for us right now. I mean, the problem is Avenger of Zendikar is always going to be a problem because they just scry at the end of their turn, scry at the beginning of their turn, and they get green. So even if we kill one of these, <laughs> they can also activate Nykthos for green and get one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of things happening right now. They're just taking it. Hmm. I mean, probably just Corsair, right? Makes me sad, but what are you going to do? Yep. I mean, this just lets me see the card, because you're not going to be able to do anything with it. Now I know you're drawing a swamp. Sounds good. Oh, 
Okay, so Bat Swamp, Avenger are three of the four cards in your hand. Oh, you're gonna draw the swamp. Sure. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because they still have Oracle out, so I don't really. <laughs> yeah. Four. Sure. I don't know how we beat this. Is that gonna. Jesus fucking Christ. Of course, that's your one other card. Why wouldn't it be? Let's bring in Sweltering Suns here. Ah, <sighs> gem razor. I think I probably shark typhoon. You don't do much. Hmm. <laughs> Take out blink, maybe. Just seems kind of. I guess if they get our guy, I want to be able to bounce it. I could also see bringing in friggin' Avalanche Riders. I'll try it like this. I wish this Jace was available in non-foil, but it's not. Dragon Lord Tarko, get in there. Questing Beast next turn seems fine. And if we can draw a blue source, we get to play uh, Jason Mind Sculptor. Or not. Never mind. Cool. Well, I mean, it was I mean it was obviously round three, so we knew we weren't going to 3-0. Like, it seemed pretty obvious. This is where they go, uh, land Shriekma or land Eldest Reborn. Those are my guesses. Oracle. Land. Two lands off the top. Beautiful. Hmm. It's, it's good. was on top of Nykthos. Heartbeat. Do they have two cards in hand? Sure. You're doing this before you search? That's weird. Because now you don't know what you're going to get. Huh. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. That was a strange decision. Got Thank it. you. You got it. Spencer, my dude. What up, buddy? Thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate you, man. They have one card in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Can't play this or this. We can just play a Thassa. Guess we'll just attack. I just finished watching the Gummy Bear Experiment. Oh, ugh, God. Michael was sweating and crying. This thing. This thing. All right. Um, sure. You got it. <sighs> I 
I don't know if they hit with their Gonti, but they're not choosing to play it here. They're also at six. It's really low. I don't know what's going on. Hey, we found the card. Can I get a blue source to bounce my own warm coil engine? That would be pretty bananas. Thanks. Sure. Yep, you get to flip this guy. Just fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. You already had eight mana. Now you have eleven, so. Oh, we just won the game. Alright. I mean you definitely have to have an answer for questing beast, otherwise he eats your face. Spyglass can hit treasure map. Can I hit coalition relic? No. No. God, I kind of like Abrupt Decay, and I wish we had a, a way to splash it. It gets rid of Treasure Map, Coalition Relic. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 sources of blue plus a Noble Hierarch. I don't know why we're not hitting more blue sources, but... <coughs> well, speak of the devil. We'll keep it. Well, that's nice. Hell of a good rampant growth. Wait, the Lipstrick Beast is not the worst. Heart's Desire. Gives us a thing to do this turn and next turn. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Search for God, I just like get a swamp. Yeah. Just ramping like crazy, boy. Ooh, I like a Garrick Relentless. You know what I like even more than that? A land. I feel like a steam vents next turn would be good. You got it. Oh, that's pretty good. For whom the bell tolls. Crack that mind stone. You got it. Garrick is not great while there's a Shriek Maw on board. We can't block the Shriek Maw. It kills Garrick immediately. And... The only thing we could do is really kill the Shriek Maw with the Garrick.
Whip of Erebus. So the problem is they can block and then whip it back. It's not ideal. Land would have been nice here. I do like a good land. Oh, man. Seven drop is the opposite of land. I mean, I'm pretty convinced they're blocking here just to get the Shriek Maw in the graveyard, sure. So, might as well get that free point in. I'm pretty sure they're going to Shriek Maw target this guy. We blink it in response. If we play Garrick, they literally go Shriek Maw, kill this, kill this. It's pretty bad. But I think trading like almost their whole turn. Yeah, this seems good. Yep. I mean, they just seem to have a hard time dealing with Questing Beast. This is fine, they gain three. And now the Shriek Maul's gone, so Garrick is significantly better. Give me a land, please. <laughs> just two more lands for the rest. That's all I want. Interesting. The graveyard's terrible. Bloodstained Mire. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, you have seven for Avenger, so you're... Interesting. Oh, we also have Phantasmal Image to get something back, which is pretty sweet. Yep. I also don't want to attack with Human because I don't want them to get Eternal Witness in the graveyard. So. No creatures in the graveyard, so that's good. Yep. I mean, it was only a matter of time, right? We only have two cards in hand, though. Like, I feel like our hand is gas, and if we just start hitting lands, like, we're actually in pretty decent shape here. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. So we could Phantasmal Image this guy. I kind of like Huntmaster. We have to discard a card, though. We could also Garrick kill this. They get one hit with it. They'll probably just kill the Garrick, to be honest. No, yeah, that seems fine. I mean, considering they have one card in hand. Oh, they have two cards. They have two cards. Like, there's definitely going to be a point where Huntmaster just gets to flip. Yeah, unless they play Avengers and a car. I mean, this is like one of the few cards that gets them back in the game, so. Crater Huff. Fascinating. Uh, sure. I mean, wish I had another land on turn 20,000. Kind of ridiculous. Turn eight. Missed four land drops. Thankfully, Critter Hift does not have haste. Naturally. Or trample, rather.
Don't play anything? I mean, if their hand is Crater Hoof Avenger, sure. You got it. Fucking, this is ridiculous. This is just better than uh, Phantasmal Image at this point. Yep. Discard a card. Okay. Get rid of Looter Ilkor. So next turn they either get a Questing Beast or something else. Getting back Hypnotic Spectre. I think that probably means they don't have anything else. Maybe I'll just take four here. I just don't want the Eternal Witness in the graveyard until we have a way to survive this game. Sure, that's fine. Flip. Hmm. Yeah, Whip of Erebo is actually surprisingly hard to deal with here. <laughs> oh my fucking god. That would actually be really good if we had a land and a way to cast it. Maybe just is it charm here and try to hit lands. Like. The problem being, what do we put in the graveyard? One island. Fuck. I don't want to put the I don't really want to put Thrag Tusk in the graveyard. Or Phantasmal Image, because then they just copy Crater Hoof. Or Dragon Lord or Primeval. I don't want to put any of these cards in the graveyard. Yeah, we can image it. What does that do, though? We have two creatures on board. Like. Oh, God. Image is terrible because it's another. I mean, like, Thrag Tusk is, like, one of the least defensive cards we can get in the graveyard. We could bring it back. Yeah, I think that's fine. We could also Phantasmal Image Eternal Witness to get it back, which I kind of like. Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty good. <clears throat> I'm a survivor. And our hand is like mono lands, so. Or mono, uh. Not lands, obviously. Um. mono creatures so I'm not super concerned with if they get back Lenalendra Questing Beast is like my biggest concern because all of our guys have two power now uh, use Eternal Witness's ability yes let's blink target uh, yeah sure oh you're just going to kill in response because your last card is fantastic Cool. Thanks for slow rolling. <laughs> like, I'm already tapped out, so I don't know what that... Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on twitch.tv slash frankleporemanitures.com. Cool stuff, Inc. And uh, nordvpn.org slash frankleporeo. You'll get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one month free. It's a great way to support the channel and get a great internet protection service. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.